These are sand dollars. Here you can see them sparkling and moving and articulating those little spines that cover their top and bottom surfaces. The spines on the top of the sea star are shorter while the ones on the underside are going to be longer. And this is how they can navigate and bury themselves down into the sand. In addition to these spines, they also have little suction cup tube feet that you can sometimes see when the uh, sand dollars are still in the water. Uh, they will withdraw their tube feet and hide them when the tide goes out because they're easily damaged. You can tell the difference between a living sand dollar like these here simply because of the movement, although as the tide goes out and they warm up and lose oxygen, they may not be as mobile. Um, but the presence of those spines is a good indicator. The dark color is another, um, and a dead sand dollar is going to look like this. This is called the test. This is the inner structure that gives them their shape. You can see their mouth in the center and their anus in the rim. And that is the reason why these sand dollars often have darker on one side on their butt edge and more pale coloration on the top. And it's because they spend a lot of their time sort of angled and buried down in the sand with only that rear end sticking up. For individuals that have been out and exposed to the sun for a while, they're going to be tan all over. Um, that's what it is. You're looking at a suntan that's present in these. It kind of 